Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for call, uh, joining me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, September 13th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 3 in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 50 and John chapter 11, verse 17 to 29. Now join me in singing verse three, uh, 2 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. My lips and cheerful heart prepare to make your mercies known. Come all that fear my God and hear the wonders God has done. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, the mighty God most high has spoken and called the earth. Alleluia, Psalm 50, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, the mighty God most high has spoken and called the earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined in glory. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A consuming fire shall go before and a raging tempest all around. And God shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth to judge the people. Gather my saints together before me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare God's righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear my people and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not accuse you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings. They have been continually before me. I will take no bull out of your house, nor rams out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to God most high. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, why do you declare my statutes or take my covenant upon your lips? seeing that you hate instruction and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you befriended him, and you have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue tells lies. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silence, and you thought that I was like you. But I will accuse you and set my case in order before your eyes. Consider this, you that forget me, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Those who offer praise glorify me, and to them that speak rightly, I will show my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the mighty God most high has spoken and called the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 17. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? 
And she said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us were bold to sing. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Accept our praises, we beseech you, O Most High God. In thanksgiving for your loving kindness, we honor you this morning, and we place our hope in your salvation. Never let us forget you, and guide us in your ways, and strengthen us in our vows. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.